Since Ron's been in prison, it's really started to seem like there's no clear reason behind who gets charged with crimes and who doesn't anymore. Boy, I know what you mean. That's always how it is, ain't it? People in power get a free pass when us little guys get hit with the whole book. Now, You're not wrong. A lot of this problem has to do with how much power prosecutors, and in general the entire Department of Justice, have to decide who to charge or not to charge with which kinds of crimes. The incentives in the entire justice system right now are shockingly bad. What do you mean? Well, for one thing, district attorneys are elected and even high-ranking DOJ officials are appointed by politicians. So everything they do is, at least to some degree, political. DAs usually pitch themselves to voters on the basis of how many cases they win and how many bad guys they put away, but also on the basis of who they're prosecuting. Darn right! If you're one of them important folk that get caught doing crimes, you might not even get prosecuted at all! Well, poor old Florida man has to stay one step ahead of the law even if he never did anything half as bad! That's true, but it gets worse. Prosecutors often have the power to decide which charges are brought against different people, and that matters a ton. Yeah, aren't there mandatory minimum sentences for different kinds of crimes? Yep, mandatory sentencing rules take power away from judges and give it to prosecutors who often use the threat of huge charges to scare defendants into taking plea deals instead of going to trial. Even though the right to a trial is in our Constitution! Plus, the fact that the government has essentially unlimited resources to pursue court cases, and most citizens don't, makes the whole system pretty imbalanced in favor of the prosecution. At this point, only about 5% of criminal cases are actually tried before a jury of the defendant's peers. I guess this all means that if you're poor and have no special connections to anyone in power, or if the DOJ really doesn't like you, you get the hammer. And if you do happen to have connections, you might not get charged with anything at all! Who are you again? Where am I? In fact, you might be able to sell your artwork for millions! Look at you! So there really is a two-tiered justice system in America? I wish it wasn't the case, but yeah, I think so. <sighs> If only my daddy was a politician, the wrong things Florida man would have done did. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more educational cartoons. We drop one every two weeks. Boy, oh boy, do we love doing it. So you subscribe so we can continue. Thank you.